We can't afford to sit these times out either. We must instead be attentive, diligent, proactive, and ready to fight for our rights. Our rights. Not yours, not hers, not mine, not others, but our rights. We know this, that hate is bold and audacious. It must manifest itself in one form today, but make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, for those who hold hate in their hearts, every single one of us who loves this country, who loves freedom and democracy, who is a minority, a woman, we are all on the menu for the haters and we cannot let them ever succeed. So our city is truly a better place, thanks to your laser focus on achieving justice for the Muslim community. And we can learn from your example. Your work to uplift Muslim Americans continues to have a deep impact on state policy, as you know. And you'll hear more about that over the course of the day. But I commend you for your efforts to make the TEACH bill a reality, the Faith Holidays bill a reality, the Muhammad Ali Day resolution a reality, and so many other initiatives that have originated from this community but benefit us all. All of this legislation has undoubtedly strengthened inclusion and support for Muslim residents across our city and our state. Let me also just say that I'm here to also make an important announcement that will redound to the benefit of this community. Here in this gathering, we will ins I want you to know that my administration will institute a study to open up the doors to formally expand the definition of minority under our contracting laws for the first time to include people and businesses of Muslim heritage. <clears throat> this expansion has the potential to benefit this community to the tune of tens of millions of dollars. The city of Chicago, every year, we contract goods and services of $3.5 billion on a regular basis. And yet, we have not been able to formally allow those dollars to go to you as a community because you are not included in the definition of minority. We will correct that wrong and get it done for this community. And I have to give credit where credit is due. I have to thank and credit the hard work and the advocacy of Judge William Haddad, who's been a fierce advocate for making sure that this change happens. And it's as a result of his work and being in my ear about this issue that we are going to get this done in the city of Chicago so that the Muslim community will benefit from contracting opportunities in our city. That will redound to the benefit of many for generations to come and build continued wealth in this community, and rightly so. So thank you, Judge William Haddad. What I also want to just say um, is one other thing that we are initiating in the city of Chicago. Our Commissioner of Human Relations, Nancy Andrade, is working diligently to fight the rise of hate crimes in our city. And under our direction, the city has been working closely with many of our advisory committees, including the Asian American and Pacific Islander um, Committee, uh, many of whom, as you know, are Muslims, to address the concerns and, of communities experiencing this increase in hate crimes. To this end, the Commission on Human Relations formed an ad hoc committee on AAPI hate crimes, which is comprised of 25 leaders and stakeholders across the diverse diaspora of this community. And together, they are formulating a white paper that will offer recommendations to my office on how to eradicate all forms of hate and make sure that we've got protections in place over and above what we already have so that we can stamp out hate before it rears its ugly head. <clears throat> 
So through our collective efforts, we can and we must make our city and state a more equitable and inclusive place. We have a lot to celebrate, as you heard. Congratulations to the representative-elects who will transform the shape of the state legislature. I know from my own experience, when you're a first, it's a glorious thing. But it also means that you carry the weight and responsibility of communities to make sure that you continue to break down the barriers, that you crash through the doors that have been closed, and you break through those ceilings uh, to the benefit of others. And I have no doubt that each and every one of you will do just that and know that you have a partner and an advocate and an ally in me as we do this work that must be done on behalf of all of us. Because when you prosper, when you succeed, we all succeed. So God bless you all. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. It's always a pleasure to be in the company of this community, and we will continue to do the work that must be done to benefit each and every one of us. God bless you. Thank you so much.